Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is your first time here, welcome to my beauty entertainment channel. Absolutely. So, if you would like to follow me on um, social media, here is my Twitter and my Instagram. Um, what else? Oh, if you'd like to check out some of my recent videos, um, before this I would have posted a video, I would have posted uh, the second part of my Sins Let's Play, and then before that I would have posted a video talking about Selling Sunset. And then before that, I would post a video talking about Sims releases. I, I cannot yell in these videos. I will literally lose my breath. Okay. Now that's out of the way. We have not done a Let's Talk new releases in months because one, I did not have time. Two, I did not have time. Three, things were kind of boring. But I still love makeup, so I want to talk. I want to like, I haven't, okay get a formulation get a sentence out i haven't been on trend mode in literally four months i literally don't know what has come out the only things that i've seen that have come out that have are things that have made it kind of bigger but makeup isn't really it right now not it like because people don't like it that doesn't mean that you can't like it but a product hasn't gone huge in a while so i've only seen a couple so i went on to trend mood and went all the way back to august and I picked the things, I didn't pick, I did not go through everything. I don't have time for that. So, but I picked some things, and I'm just going to talk about stuff. Stuff from August all the way till literally last week. And I'm going to share all my thoughts on these releases. So if you would like to watch that, you can keep watching. Okay, I think I said on this side. I don't really remember, but let's go with it. So the very first thing we have, we're starting off strong. First thing we're starting off with is a money laundering scheme, allegedly. First we have up is Kylie Cosmetics. I won't say that. Um, this is something called the 24 Karat Birthday Collection. Um, I'm assuming she turned 24. Um, this is what happened. I'm sure nobody bought this shit. I'm sure nobody bought this shit and I'm sure nobody even did a PR unboxing because who does those anymore? So um, yeah, I have no thoughts. I hope I don't know how that family's doing. How are you guys doing? Aftermath of being horrible people. Anyways, the next um, release that I saw was this ColourPop collection, the new Y2K collection. This is, it's pretty. It's pretty, I guess. Here's my thing. ColourPop comes out with a collection every three business days. I would rather them come out, because they have all different types of sizes of palettes. Personally, if we're going to be just handing them out like candy let's do more let's make more of those like random collections these tiny mini palettes I think that would be a uh, better use of our time better use of our resources and because they're cute small little collections you're not like signing like a nine pan maybe too much maybe we don't need all of that maybe it's y2k i mean i'm sure people wearing this aren't gonna just do like the craziest looks but you don't need to because it's simple so i think for i i don't know if that's what they've been doing because again i have not been caught up but i think that's a cute idea um the blushes are oh, those are not blushes super shock highlighters lavender highlighters okay i have no thought i have no thoughts next release is okay wait my phone decided to X out of Instagram. So one second, that is my bad. Okay, we're back. The next thing is this um, Too Faced still releases products. No, this is Morphe that stole Too Faced's packaging. Okay, so this was in September. No, this was in the beginning of August. Morphe re collaborated with Coca-Cola, which I'm pretty sure they've already done, but this is the Cherry Coke collection, and they stole Too Faced's packaging. So in case you were not caught up on that, Morphe still does steal. Um, another news, the sky is blue. So let's move on. The next palette that I saved was this, it's called the Bloom Palette by OPV Beauty. This is actually a really pretty, okay, here's my thing. I go back and forth. Every time I walk past, because when I'm at my parents' house, every time I walk past makeup collection, I groan because I'm like, why do you own so much? This was never, ne it was never necessary. But in a different part of my head is like, what if you throw it all out so you can start a new one? Like, what if you did that? What if you threw it all out, you know, or donated it, because it's not all, like, bad, and started a new one? 
because I think about that often every the once in a blue moon that I see a palette that I actually am like that is intriguing I have never tried anything from OP OPV beauty I don't believe so I have no idea what the quality of these things are I just think the palette is pretty I think it's pretty I think it's different they released this in August. It feels more like a late fall release to me, teetering towards holiday, but the packaging gives summer. So I get why, but the colors inside, like the deep, the purple in the corner, this gives me, I would buy this like now. I think this palette, if they just changed the packaging, could have been like a fall release, but that's not what we're talking about. I think it's pretty. So yeah. Next thing that got released, um, I don't know what anything in, I don't know who either of these two people are. There are a bunch of collabs and I'm um, sorry to say it, I don't know who some of these people are at all, but this one um, is from Beauty Creations, what? Beauty Creations, a collab with Luis. This is the pa there's like a palette, there's a blush palette, there's a blush palette as well. Um, not made for me, but that's okay, I guess. I'll move on. The next thing, okay, this next thing is a um, Pat McGrath palette. I saw this palette that came out. So this is Pat McGrath palette that came out um, in August. It's the Mothership Roman numerals, Amanda 9. Mothership 9. And it's the Utopian Dream Artistry palette. Pat. I own one Pat McGrath palette. I okay, Pat McGrath blushes. I think are the best product. I would say followed. That's those are the only Pat products that I use still consistently. I oh, I have her concealer right in my like it's right here in like where I have my everyday makeup in case I want to do like really heavy like really a different type of concealer one day. But those blushes are amazing. The palettes, they're not bad, but my question is, what makes this mothership XXX, what makes this one different from the one that you released like three months ago? Not much, especially since the, uh, okay, I could be misremembering, but the last like three that have come out have all been this like pinky, mauve -y, like um, tone. And I get it, it's pretty, but maybe she doesn't want to do anything different. That's fine, but it's like, I don't know what would make me buy this one over the other one, especially because the other ones go on sale more often than this one does. Right? Right. All right, next um, product that got released, we are still being terrorized by Urban Decay's Naked Collection. Um, why didn't I save a picture of the actual palette? Oh wait, here it is. Okay, so Urban Decay in I think August as well released the Naked Cyber palette. I'm not No. My thing is I with some naked with some releases from like companies that are like were very big like 6 years ago. You're like, that would have done well when your brand was popular. Do you guys, I don't think this one would have. I don't even think this one would have because like most naked palettes, black people could not use, but this is something different. This, I don't even know. I, 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 don't, I don't even know if the girls who get this fake tans could use this because this is crazy. Also, I don't know, like, what they were trying to go for. Duochromes 2021? Ugh. Sorry if you like duochromes, but ooh. Ooh. It's like metallic lipsticks. Ooh. Um, just terrible. Next one. So who do okay, this one I saw, and I don't know if I want to get one of these. I should not because I don't do eyeshadow enough to should be buying new palettes unless I throw out my makeup collection. Hmm. Next release is from Huda Beauty. Um, August as well, I assume. <sighs> Brief. Um, she released four new palettes. The, the some new the new um, nine pans, the new obsession palettes. This is the Wild collection. 
we're going to the jungle we're going to the jungle so there's a pink ish one the wild chameleon one deep purples pinks and sunset oranges there's the wild jaguar one which is super super smoky there's another one which is your tip the tiger one which is your typical champagne and neutral and then there's the oh shit i did this wrong no i'm right then there's wild python which is like gold and green first look i want not okay this is one we're not talking about what we're buying wild python no sorry the wild chameleon the deep purples and pinks I think that one is very pretty I don't wear green eyeshadow the green one I wish it might have been overkill but I wish there was a dark green in it maybe instead of one of those bottom three colors but you need those maybe I don't think I would use the second row that first like I don't know kind of like sea moss shade I don't know if I would have preferred like the color of the backdrop behind it being in the palette instead. The fur, but besides the point, the wild jaguar one, that smoky one, I would never purchase that because I don't use those colors. But I think that's a pretty interesting smoky palette because um, I think it's a little touch different. A lot of the smokier palettes tend to go very, very, very gray, very cool. And she incorporated some like shimmers that have okay uh this is niche the was it the amreezy palette whoa we're going back in time that had that like glitter that glitter shade that was a brown glitter shade um love that sh do i have that here no it's at school anyways I love shades like that that take both sides warm and cool. It looks fantastic on your eyes if you're looking. It's the shade on the second row, the last one on the right. It's a beautiful, it's a, it, 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 it looks the same as that shade. I'm not sure if it's the exact same. I might be slightly cooler. But I think these palettes are cute. Huda Beauty, um, using these, I've used these, I have... Back when she released the neutral ones, I got the darkest one. It's a good palette. Her eyeshadows are good quality. Um, I prefer these mini ones over her bigger ones. Um, the last big one I bought was the, this lighting is crazy. My blinds don't really work anymore, so we're making do with pins and stuff. Back to my point. Um, the last one that I bought was Naughty Nudes. And I like that one, but I do really like the smaller palettes a little bit better. That's me personally. Okay, so enough talking about that. Enough talking about that. Next thing that came out, J J Juvia's Place, this was in August, released brow products. That's interesting. I Because Juvia's Place has, have they done everything else? They never did. Fa they did. Do they have blush palettes? Do they, do they have brown? Yeah, I guess I've done everything else. They have done everything else. So Juvia, I have not heard much about their I haven't heard really anything they did release a brow pen which I'm fully on brow pen hive the brow pen that I use is the benefit one um it's okay I think I'm I'm trying to find if there is one better on the market so if you use brow pens let me know what your favorite is but I have no thoughts and I have heard no thoughts on these eyeshadow stuff like um, I'm not really a Juvia's Place girl, maybe wanting crazy validation, but, um, I guess Q. I'm going to move on though. I'm going to move on rather quickly. The next product is from Anastasia Beverly Hills came back out of hiding. So Anastasia Beverly Hills, was this in August, released a new concealer. <laughs> not the pot one this one is like has like a wand um i have seen people use this in like sponsored posts that's not me being shady i just i've just that's where i've seen it used the most and it looked nice i'm not in the market for a new concealer right now because i really found like the golden goose egg formula if the rare beauty concealer with a touch of huda beauty's concealer that that's what you need in your life but you don't have to um I'm not really sure. I haven't heard like great things about them. I haven't, they have, it hasn't become like, it hasn't taken over to which I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna go buy this now. So 
The shade range is okay, I guess. I have no thoughts. I have no thoughts. But I haven't seen anybody use it. Maybe that's why I have no thoughts. Okay. Next up, we have... No, I'm not talking about that. Mm, some things, you look at it and you're like, I've seen this before. I'm scrolling through like three ColourPop collections I've literally seen before. I have literally seen before. I have literally seen... Oh, wait. This Tinkerbell collection, I do remember this because I thought it was super pretty. Um, I think is fascinating. I think, first of all, the packaging is beautiful. The packaging is beautiful. I think the palette makes sense. However, definitely no darkies allowed. Okay, I don't make makeup, but when you make a palette and you put a transition shade in the palette because you want to, why stop at one? Why can't you put two trans... It wouldn't take up too much space. Like you put... There are, th there are four... Sh it's not shitty. Glimmery greens. One of those couldn't have been knocked out for a darker, like a terracotta brown. I just, that doesn't make any sense to me. Especially because what's that place where Tinkerbell lives? Neverland? It's not cold. It's not gray down there. There's some warmth. There's some trees where she was flying around Peter Pan. That's this story, right? There were trees. It was warm. It didn't look dingy. And where she, in that Disney Channel movie, Pixie Hollow, they're warm colors. Nothing like this. But I like, I like the blushes. Those are blushes, right? Mm, I've lost my touch. Yeah. I think they're pretty. I actually think that bottom one is really, really pretty. Do they still sell that? It looks like a deep, ooh, that's pretty. Let me go check downstairs. <clears throat> Those are my thoughts on that. Then, Be Perfect Cosmetics, um, okay, collaborated with Stacey Marie Amiwe a fourth time to release the Carnival the Antidote palette um, and some liquid eyeshadows, which I'm not a liquid eyeshadow girl. I've accepted that, so I'm gonna go back to the palette. I own the very original, which is a really good palette. I own the Carnival XXL, which is also a really good palette. Be Perfect has a really good formulation. I don't need another palette this big. I am sticking to my rule. I don't need another palette this big. But I think, I think for like, because it's very, it's very clearly like a neutrals, a little bit more fall, a little bit more, like a little bit darker. I personally don't need something with this color scheme and a palette this big. For me personally. People do, especially back in 2016, this left half of this palette would have gone crazy on the makeup streets. So some people literally, this is, this is, these are the two color schemes they use all the time. And it is. I like a warm raspberry smoky eye. I like blue a little bit more than green. But I've been trying to get into green more. We'll see. It's fine. I know the quality is going to be good because those palettes are really, really good, but I don't need something. I, I especially if, if you have a collection like mine, you don't need anything. And these, in this color scheme, which we've seen time and time again, you don't need a palette this large in this color scheme. Beautiful though. Okay. Let me take me those screenshot. All right. Next thing, I'm not putting this up on the screen, but apparently BH Cosmetics collaborated with Iggy Azalea. What is going on in the makeup community? Really? It can't be that bad. It can't be that bad. It can't be that bad. They still have brushes. Okay, not talking about that. Boring, boring. Boring. Okay, now we're into September. So in September, Milk Makeup actually released some liquid blushes, which I also did not hear too much about. They have them in four shades. Okay, this is not, this is to Milk Makeup, but to everyone who releases liquid blushes, we have to, there is a whole color wheel. We are staying on one half of the color wheel for our blushes. That's fine. But we are literally ignoring a color that is sitting, what is sitting along with reds, pinks? What other color is close in proximity to those and looks amazing on dark skin? We cannot keep forgetting orange. And peach is not orange. 
I had to get it off my chest. Peach is not orange. I want orange. Um, I have, I don't know, I don't have opinions on this because I literally, quite literally, have seen nobody use these. That is not, that is me being out of the loop. That is not, that is not anyone else's fault. They look very watery, which does make me nervous because that's why the glow, I like the Glossier Pl Cloud paints, but that's why those are not my favorite liquid blushes of all time is because they are so watery, but that might make them slightly more beginner friendly. They blend out a lot easier with something that's like this cream. The Rare Beauty ones aren't like super, super cream, but they're a little bit, they stick, they dry down a lot faster. So I understand. I do like the liquid blush cream that everyone is on. It's like over now, but not like like releases, release wise, but I think we could kick it back into high gear with a bright orange. I think we're really doing a disservice by just like completely ignoring orange. It, it's gonna look great on us. It's gonna look fantastic on us. So, like, you, if you're gonna if you're gonna make baby pinks that would make me look um, ghostly, I think we can make oranges that make the other side look crazy. I think that's fair. We'll look good. Next, okay. So Fenty Beauty released, um, and I bought one of these. Um, the new shades of the heat luminizer the um the ones that doesn't that doesn't have any shimmer they made them in the shades that they had in the original Fenty Glow I like these considerably better than the original Fenty Gloss Balm with the shimmer I think I threw mine away the ones with the shimmer I literally only the one in fussy yeah that's that's the honest truth right there the one in Fussy with the brown lip liner is the honest truth right there. I think these last longer than the original ones as well. And I think they just look nice around my lips. The plumping sensation is not crazy. I don't feel it. I don't feel shit, actually. With the red one, with the bright red one, that one I absolutely felt. These ones I don't really feel much. Um, but I really like the way the color looks. Um... I really enjoy it. So I think if you're looking, if you didn't, because I knew ever people were like iffy on the original gloss bombs, I think these are a much better option to try, personally. Personally. All right, next, Milk Makeup, I heard about this. Release an eye primer. I didn't hear anything after. I just saw that it was coming out. So can someone tell me, is this, I have not used an eyeshadow primer probably in like seven, eight years. That's aging, oh goodness. But I use concealer. But I know some people use like eyeshadow primer like in their little, to like keep the concealer from creasing or whatever. I have just creases, so that's not really gonna work. But let me know if you guys liked this. Um, I think I saw one review on it, it looked okay. I'm giving you excellent knowledge. Okay, the next thing that I would like to discuss. Do 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 do. So Colored Rain came out with some mini eyeshadow palettes. They have Neutral Chic, Pretty Chic, Wealthy Chic, and Sunset Chic. Just your typical like neutral green, pinks and oranges. Um, that Sunset one actually, as a blush palette, intrigues me. I don't know if it's enough for me to, per if that if the three bottom rows are matte, even if they're not matte, if they're that weird matte with shimmer, or even the slightest shimmer, I would be intrigued in those as blushes. I would be, this was in September. I'm gonna look for a review, let me screenshot this. It means I'd be interested in those as blushes because Y'all are just lacking on the orange blush. I found the NYX Sweet Cheeks one is like okay. It's not pigmented enough. I need orange, just orange on my cheek. Okay, so I have no thoughts. Then Beauty Blender, which is still a brand, released a skin tint. Ain't nobody buying that shit. I know I applaud them for continuing to persevere through um, their foundation fiasco. I really, I, I can, I can respect um, powering through people calling you an idiot. Um, but I'm sure nobody bought it. And the way I even heard that that foundation was like not bad. <laughs> I heard the foundation was like not terrible, but you're bozos. Don't know what you want me to tell you. So I'm sure this foundation, this skin tint, probably is a very similar shade range. So I have no thoughts. 
Next, so ColourPop releases this is in October, I assume. No, this was in September. Um, reveals, so I'm assuming it was released in October. They have a Hocus Pocus collection with Disney. Don't they do this every year? Yeah, it's cute. It's very packaging. This is a collection you buy for packaging, like a lot of ColourPop's collections. So I'm sure you had fun if you bought this. Um, I'm gonna move on. Next, um, so in September, Kylie said she was gonna make baby products. Um, so for some reason, clowns on the internet think that D despite the Kardashians being like, we sell, we love money grabs, we sell things that are not the best quality to make money from you, and have shown that time and time again, somehow people still think they are the chosen one, and they will not be affected by greediness. I'm here to tell you, that's not the case. Because I saw the TikToks of the girls buying Kylie Swim and crying tears to me when the shit was ripping and the seams were out of place. color me shocked so if you guys want to put products from Kylie Jenner on your baby I'm not gonna say be my guest because I don't want your child involved in that this was the same I'm sorry I don't think someone who couldn't get adult skincare right should be fucking with baby skincare but that's, that's, that's just me. It does seem like a, a path that she would take. Cause I'm like, what exactly is Kylie Cosmetics still doing at this point? Even with the rebrand, the relaunch that just happened, what is it really doing? Nothing. And now, and now what they gonna do? What they gonna do? Now your baby father is getting sued out his ass for being a horrible person. So that's interesting, but yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be putting something made by Kylie Jenner on my child. I wouldn't be. Um, so in September as well, House Labs, which is still a thing, um, released a like love for sale palette. It's inspired by the Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga's album. Isn't he like 95 years old? Oh Jesus. Um, a dollar from every palette sold will be donated to the Tony Bennett Expo. You guys can discuss this amongst yourselves. I'll sit here and wait. I'll sit here and wait. You guys have fun with this. You guys discuss this amongst yourselves. Um, I'm going to move on. Next, oh, another thing that just happened is that Tati Beauty is now closed. Um, that eyeshadow palette was cute. It was actually. It was not. It was actually pretty. It was a really good. It was very creamy. I don't know if it still would be. I don't even know where it is in here. But it was cute. Um, didn't she have like little pads? She did that, right? Um, so I'm sure that couldn't continue because nobody gives a shit about you anymore because you you admitted yourself what you did was weird so i'm not even like being like aggressive you admitted yourself you shouldn't have done that shit so this is what happens tragic very sad for her next so recently um, oh, another influencer doing crazy things and you guys will get crazy. I hope, I don't know. Um, so like December, November, Jacqueline Hill. Yeah, yeah. Um, came out with a jewelry collection. Um, I, you know, don't know what people's reactions were. I would not be buying jewelry from someone who fucked up lipsticks. Um, personally, that's just since jewelry can give you rashes and can give you infections and stuff. But, you know, but jewelry is very, you know, Fashion Nova. So, um, interesting. Be jewelry. How 
wasn't seeing that for Jacqueline. I don't really know what I was seeing for Jacqueline because we know makeup's not working right now. So everyone's trying to try different things. A lot of people are doing fragrance. I didn't know jewelry was one that people were doing as well. Interesting. You know, um, I, I'm sure her core fan base like ate, ate this up because it's very, it's all pretty basic jewelry. Nothing like super it's not something you'd have to like see if you'd like it's basic jewelry and if you like Jacqueline you would buy it and support it but um I'm sure their next has some issues moving on so in November as well um Manny Beauty's Manny Beauty that is not his name um Manny MUA's makeup line released some lip glosses a bronzer palette and some brushes I heard about this bronzer palette because I saw bozo tweet you think I don't see bozo tweets even though I was on hiatus I see bozo tweets sir you get no congratulations because your bronzer palette has more shades than the bronzer palette on the market the standard for bronzer palettes on the market is literally abysmal you having more shades than them means i don't know you decided on a bigger a big a bigger magnetized thing it doesn't matter and to think for and for you to like throw that in people's faces when they're like your shade range is shit you could have 20 20 powders if the shade range was still shit it's still shit and it is shit it, it, it literally is it, it it's it's not it's not it's it's not very good it's not very good and for that's why i'm like you guys don't really learn anything you guys don't really listen to anybody say anything because if that is your first response to someone being like yeah this is not inclusive at all is well it's better than everything else the br the bronzer section of sephora is where all racial unrest comes to just comes to pass you want to experience racism? Go click on Sephora.com, click on the bronzer section. You're not seeing shit for you. So I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be taking too much pride in me having more range than Kat Von D. So, um, I would sit down with that. Um, I have no thoughts. I have no thoughts. I also think for like a bronzer palette is interesting to release in 2021 um like i don't know i feel like single bronzers would have gone over better but maybe it would have made people realize or he could have done duos or something but i don't know a bronzer palette is correct for 2021 2016 sure because we were all convinced that we needed makeup artistry kits even if we weren't makeup artists which was really really funny <laughs> like what what if what if <laughs> that was hilarious but you know what i'm sure the formulation is good because his um eyeshadows are very very creamy so i'm sure the formulation is good um but i can't really wear that and his lip glosses are very nice i've only had one i believe and it was nice the one that i had this crystal kiss color looks very pretty i literally buy the same like nude pink just over and over and over again i'm trying to find the perfect one the perfect formulation i like that that crystal kiss see how swatching is so important look at the way divine looks on the two different skin tones that's besides the point oh let me screenshot that so you guys can see so those are my thoughts on that you're a bozo don't do that again um, next, so in November, Ariana Grande released REM Beauty. I did get something for this. I'm pretty sure I left the package back at school. That's really, really funny. Um, very basic brand. Nothing really to see here. Um, I think the comp the packaging component for the lipstick is really, really cool. I think that's a really cool packaging. And that's pretty much all I have to say about said brand. Um, I think I ordered a highlighter. Um, so when I go back to school and open the package, I'll be able to see if it's like a good formulation or not. I have really nothing to say because I don't think there really is much to say. It's very like it's it's a she released like eyeshadow quads not even quads what are these like six tuplets whatever with highlighters i think it was very simple 
makeup line and whatever the purpose was. I'm not really sure. So I think it's supposed to be like extraterrestrial, like REM or in space, um, I guess. But I only get that from the component that had, from the lipstick component. I don't get that from the rest of them. But maybe I'm not supposed to get it. Let's move on. Next, like November um, 13th, Melt Cosmetics released the um, Amor y Mariposas. I took French. I'm sorry. Um, collections. There's an eyeshadow palette. It's the biggest eyeshadow palette I've ever seen from Melt and the only one I've seen with Circle Shadows. It is that same, it is the same thing as the Be, not the same thing obviously, as the Be Perfect, Be Perfect Cosmetics ones. Um, but it's smaller. See, this is like a size I would get, but I don't need it because this, this scheme has been done time and time again. But I like the combination of the scheme we've seen time and time again with green. That is the interesting choice. We had the pop of green effect. Was that two years ago? Three years ago? That's interesting. And there's also, so the press palette, there's a blush palette. Scary. The blush palette is scary. The blush palette is scary. Oh, the blush palette is scary. Oh, the blush palette is pale. Oh, the blush palette is scary. Mm, that was scary. There's also lipsticks. I don't wear lipstick. Okay, Melt's gel liners are amazing. They're amid, that is I think one of their hidden gem products is the gel eyeliners. Cause of the gel, where is it? This gel, it's Espresso or is it Spiff? Ultra Matte Gel Liner, this is my everyday liner, the brown one, and it's brown enough to show up. They're really good quality, they're really good quality. So I'm sure these are very, very pretty. The palette is interesting. I don't know, I think it's $70. Yeah, no, not for me, not for me, but I do like those um, gel liners and I'm not addressing the blush palette. Next, so on November 15th, um, Harry Styles released a, he's coming out with a nail line. I don't do my nails myself. This is gel, this is acrylics and gel. Um, so go on and be great. I like the ball. I love that packaging though. It's beautiful. I have no other thoughts. Um, I have no thoughts on that either. Um, in the middle of November, Alamar Cosmetics released a collection with Disney, the Encanto collection. They have a cute little eyeshadow palette, which is actually cute. Um, this is, this, has this been what this, okay, I have been out of the loop. Is this green pinks? That's what we're doing? Interesting. And they also released two blushes and one highlighter. Alomar Cosmetics blushes are the truth, the truth, the perfect, it gives, it's not matte. Not all their blushes are matte. Perfect glow, you don't need highlighter. It just accentuates so fucking well. I think this is pretty. I have yet, I'm, Encanto came out, it's coming out on Christmas Eve. So then I'm gonna watch it then on Disney Plus. Like, um, so I'm gonna watch it then. I heard it was cute, so. I'm excited, so I don't know if this is a good representation of the movie. Someone else can answer that question, but I think it's a pretty palette. I think it's a pretty palette. I don't really need that. And I think the blushes are cute. I also don't need those, but I think they're very cute. Okay, next thing. Next thing, um, Oh, my camera's going insane. Fenty Beauty um, is come is coming out. Has, okay, has come out with the. My camera is having a freak out. Is coming out with um, liquid highlighters. I already have my favorite liquid highlighter ever. It is the Rare Beauty one because it, it really is that good. So they're taking the kilowatts and they're making them into liquid highlighters. I'm wondering how if this is gonna be like a cover FX drops like one drop will do way too much for your face that that concentrated or it's gonna be something along the lines of a rare beauty very diffuse looks like it's already blended in the color that i like the most i always go for the darkest one and then i'm like no i actually want a different color i like that but a brownie shade i think it's I, but i don't know how the pictures on the models looks really good it looks really great but then sometimes you're like, you just want a little like the highest point. So that's where I would, I would, I would like get like a Hustler Baby 2.0. 
and you put it right here nowhere else just like literally right here hmm I don't need it I don't need it and I haven't heard like I want revolutionary products I want revolutionary products and I haven't seen any in a long time and I know it was out of the loop but if they were revolutionary I would have come to know about them that's what I'm missing because the love for makeup is still there I think for most people because I don't know I don't do this much of a hobby for a long time and not still really care about it we just need something a little bit more revolutionary I think it's coming I think we just have to be patient I don't know how much longer it's gonna take but we'll see but the liquid highlighters look they look okay then um, Rare Beauty did come out with more shades of their blush with no brown. I already was upset over this on my private. There's no brown. There's no orange. There's no orange. The colors are the colors that they did add are pretty. I don't know if I maybe the darkest mauve, which is called Believe. Oh, when it's in their dewy formula, I do like that. Maybe I could try that one, but I really just want an orange. Especially in that formula. It would be too good. It would be too good. Let's move on. So Juvia's Place did come out with um, some holiday palettes. Um, they have a blue one and like a blue orangey one. They're very pretty. Juvia Place's eyeshadows have always been good. I have not used them in years though. Also, I don't know if their formula has changed. I, don't, I just don't buy from them anymore. So if you love it, I love it. And then lastly, we have Rare Beauty again is coming out with, oh, is coming out with bronzer sticks and setting powders hmm that's I like that I see I like how they're doing they're going through staple products they did release a, like eyeshadows and stuff and like other lip products and stuff but their like main line they're still doing here are your products you use every day let's see if we can take the spot that's what I look for I want you to take the spot of my favorite that's good makeup when I immediately stop using whatever I was using before and switch to your product. That's what I hope for every time I get something new like struck like foundation, concealer, powder, blush. That that's what I need. I'm I'm just I love competition. I want to see com I want you to knock these bitches out. The Milk Hydro Grip Primer literally has been here for three and a half, three is it four years now? She's waiting. I think she's too comfortable. Back to my point. Um, I don't like bronzer sticks anymore. The last stick thing that I used was a Fenty Match Stick, which I did really like. But ever since I started using this Vanessa Myricks Cream Bronzer, I just like it's more. You don't have to fuck with it as hard. It's more malleable, in my opinion, at least. The powder. I am interested in. I wish. I wish we did have like one more shade like not a yellow not a banana powder but like a light yellow shade let me how many shades are there whoa the picture that I had did not have all the shades in them <laughs> the picture that I had did not have all the shades in them where's the where's like what they announced with why can't I find that why can't I this one only has four pictures in it there's a light light medium 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 deep and deep okay so why does this picture only have four circles why does this picture only have four circles I'm trying to see if there is what I just said because <laughs> if there is I will I want to get it and I want to try it okay I'm seeing like I'm seeing the dark which I don't get setting I don't not I don't get them like I don't understand them I don't buy setting powders that are that shade like the Laura Mercier medium deep I used to use that it doesn't it's for your faces. I used to use it under my eyes, which was crazy. It sets your face. So maybe there seems to be one that is slightly yellower, but I cannot tell if that's orange or if that's yellow. Hmm. Hmm. I need to see it in person. I cannot. I'm not leaving my house until I get my COVID test. Uh, I'm not leaving my room. I'm gonna stay right here. I can't tell from this picture so I can't share my opinion because I don't know from this picture these are releasing on Christmas Day if there is one I just cannot tell from this picture that is like 
like the Laura Mercier honey. Something that, it can be slightly darker, I don't mind, but something like that. Something like that, the Fenty Beauty, the powder. What color did I use in that powder? I think I used banana something. Something like that. I really hope that's there because I'm interested. It's an Optimus Soft Rating Setting Powder. I just want to read about the finish. Smooth, smooth blur and control shine with a hint of radiance. How much radiance? Maybe this could, if, even if I don't like it, I have been looking for another to powder to set my face because I use this, I'm just talking now. I use this for a micro smooth, but it's not really a setting powder. It's just like a finishing powder. So I want to, me, hmm, I'm intrigued. I am intrigued. I am intrigued. So we'll have to see. I want to watch like a review or something. I haven't watched a makeup review in literal ages, in literal ages. That's crazy. Well, that's it. That is it. That is the first new releases I've done since July. Hope you guys had fun listening. Sorry for the lighting being very, very wonky. My whatever. Um, so let me know your thoughts on the products that we talked about. Let me know for if you've tried one of them and which ones you're thinking of trying. Let me know if you're asking for makeup for Christmas or for the holidays. Let me know what makeup you've been asking for because I'm like, I don't even know. That's how out of the loop I'm. I don't even know what makeup to buy. It's so sad. It's so sad how physiology takes up all your time. Anyway, so yeah, that's the end of my video. Thank you guys oh so much for watching. I hope you have a super safe and happy and healthy holidays. Please go get your booster shot. Please go get your flu shot. I'm begging you. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.